morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are in the beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video. Welcome to the Bitcoin Family, Bitcoin Family YouTube channel where we talk about Bitcoin, blockchain, and life. For the newcomers, my name is Didi. I believe in the Bitcoin revolution. In today's very short TA video, we are going to talk about Bitcoin because something is going to happen with Bitcoin, and I want to share these charts with you so you understand a little bit better what is happening nobody can predict the future but these charts are telling something and um, that we all should look at okay so let's jump quickly into these charts while i'll zip my coffee bam Okay guys, here we go. We have this uh, day chart. And on this day chart, we have been sharing um, this pattern that we would break out on the RSI to the top or to the bottom. You know, the huge triangle line. Yesterday I tweeted, which one are we going to do? This one or the other A, B and C? Look at my tweet if you want. And it looks like we are going down. We are going to break downwards out of it. And if we would break that pattern on the day chart, that would mean that this, the width of the start, would be the breakdown till around 27,000 US dollar. And I know a lot of you will be in shock now. Can we really fall to 27,000 US dollar? At the moment, we are at 31,700 US dollar. So let's have a look what the rest of the charts are telling us. We will come back to Oryx later to show you how the Bam Bam traded this one. Let's go to the next chart. Bam. This one over here. Let's see where my face is. My face is kind of kind of correct. It's uh, kind of good screen, uh, like a little bit smaller, maybe the D. Okay, like this. Um, in this chart, this is the chart where we talked about, uh, you know, the death cross. And the death cross was at the gray line over there. And at that moment that the death cross appeared, the price was still going up. And it took 57 bars, so 57 days, till we had a golden cross, the green line crossing the red line again now we had that death cross yes the price since the death cross is slowly going up you're still finding support on this green line if it will take 57 days till we form a new golden cross then this green line needs to cross the red cross around here on the 15th of august and then we would have repeated this one over there and then we could go up again from that moment so it's very exciting times like you see next chart bam yes quickly and that means if we would do that again that yes we would still make this fifth wave elliott waves on the daily chart one wave here uh, let's draw a little bit better the one wave second wave third biggest wave fourth wave the huge pullback now fifth wave around you know 100k to 220k whatever you should believe but this fifth wave has not been in if you calculate the Elliott wave so if we keep finding support on this growth curve then we could still see this fifth wave next year bam fifth wave and it's very important then on the weekly that we keep support around that 31k like you can see here this is the beginning in december we broke that 31k level you know we kept that as support we kept that as support we kept that as support we kept that as a month after month that's one two three four five months we kept that one as support then we broke out and that was one two three four five months and that a week sorry one two three four five good morning Giddy. you need some more bitcoin family coffee Mm. weeks we kept the support and then we broke out and then we went up and now we came down again and we found support 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 and this one now is very important this weekly candle closing in two days and 17 hours so only three days needs to find support on this green line 32,100 euros dollar if we keep support all good if we don't keep support then it could start to look a, look a little bit more ugly and yes then it could start look to look like we go down again and yes keep in mind the 25th is always a very important date because we have been dumping around that moment let's jump into the next chart bam 
um, even if we would break that support and we would fall down to the 27,000 US dollar what would that mean for the charts so if we would copy the 2013 or 2017 move 13 is the green one 2017 is the blue one if we would copy those moves from July then we could fall even till let's say this one is around 25,900 and the blue one is around 24,000 even if we would fall to those levels in 2013 2015 we did pull back these huge candles then we could still reach the top over there and over there you know that's December and December in 2021 so yes even if we pull back to that 24 25 26 27 k level that everybody is expecting that doesn't mean that the bull market is over that means that we could still repeat 2013 or 2017 move in going up so if we do this you should buy that dip that is the cheapest bitcoin you will buy in the next couple of months in my opinion then. and bam that is also what that gaussian channel is showing you that we talked about a few times already this blx candle now closed it did close on the line the next candle this one now that is going to close in three days and 17 hours that one opened down below the line that is not good if did can this candle is going to close down the below this line as well that's negative if we could still turn this around in the next three days to have this candle close above the level of 34,000, so that's three days, that's before Sunday, in the weekend we are always volatile, so nobody knows what can happen. But if we could happen, push the price with 3K up from 32 to 35, then this candle would be closing above that green line and it would even be a green candle. So that is how close it is in this next weekend. Very, very, very important. But be aware, this Gaussian channel, if you look at this one, for example, on the weekly chart, this is the five day chart. On the weekly chart, it's looking completely different. On the weekly chart, we are finding now the support on the top of the level. And if we find support on the top of the Gaussian channel on the weekly view, that's positive. That doesn't mean that we are going down. It's like over here. We found support and then we went up again with a lot of dollars in Bitcoin value. So if we keep support in the weekly, no, that's still positive. If we also in the weekly go into it inside and close in it, and that would happen if we go to the 27, 24 level, then again, that is very negative. Okay, I hope you still um, follow me because bam, if you watch on the daily chart in the Gaussian channel, if you don't get me then just watch it again then we are fighting the bottom of that red area and the moment we fight that bottom is difficult but if we break that bottom which is now around 33,450 and we go above that bottom again and we go inside that red one and then we break the midline and the top around 40 then again you get the same situation that we saw over there we broke we came into it and then when we came out of it you had that huge bull run or the same situation as we had over here in march 2020 we broke down we came with this huge wick and if you look very closely they look very similar you know round top to the top bam break down out of this one building up again and then breaking into that channel and then above that and from that moment 8000 we went to 60000 so on the daily we need to break this one so it's a lot of bam things that we need to look at at the moment but here we have another one this is the weekly chart and on this weekly chart we are finding support beautifully here in this ribbon you can see that on the weekly we are finding support on this bottom line 32,000 at the moment here this red line this one over there 32,004 we are finding support in the weekly so if we keep support over there that is positive that would mean we stay above 30k if not we could go down to that next level 29 or that level over there 25 that is a long flag appearing on the band we will come back to the band later like that is so it's a lot of charts i'm looking at and that is what makes it very exciting at the moment guys bam and if we go over here uh, let's do it over there i will show it over here if we go over here then you understand how I keep multiplying my Bitcoins 
while I watch these weekly, daily, monthly movements. I need to multiply my Bitcoins. I can look at this huge place, but to multiply my Bitcoins, to make more Bitcoins, I need to trade them. Or you need to work and earn Bitcoins or whatever you prefer. But if you want to trade them, we trade with the BAM BAM indicator. And like you can see, this is long over there. This is on the one hour chart. This is a long a flag closing above it. A, a, sorry, a long flag, a candle closing above it. There is greenish, but there is also still bluish. Uh, the BAM crossed already over there. The red line is on top. Not the most positive trade. So you could skip it or you could take that trade for 1%, for example. You know, that is how you trade it. The short that we had before was a huge profit. If you look again to the short, one second. Hi, why do you do it like this, Didi? If you look at the short, um, then you can see over here this short on the one hour was a really good short because it's short flag closing down below the yellow stepping line a lot of blue and yellow red line on top orange in the middle green on the bottom bam bam crossing the white line turning down all indications of taking that short and that was a nice short that was a short of let's say from there to the long that's 3.8 percent with a leverage of 10, you do the calculation. And now again, on the one hour, it's showing a short. Short, we need to close down below the yellow stepping line. We need to see blue and yellow. We need to see the bam bam going downwards and crossing. And then there will be another short. And that is how the bam bam works. And that is how you increase the amount of bitcoins you have. On the four hour, we are still in that short. So I hope that was all a little bit clear. If you want more information, guys, about that bam bam indicator go to the bitcoinfamily.com in english the bitcoinfamily.com and there you will find all our products all the information you can also see what we do with the fees if you are prepared to click all these referral links down below this video go to bybit for a huge deposit bonus bonus deposit deposit bonus <laughs> i think thousand us dollar go to dudex for a 300 dollar deposit go to binance for some extra bonus go to i forget one and go to Did he is losing his mind he's forgetting one oh my god this is a worst case video ever hmm oh, this is terrible buy it do it or prime xbt god damn did that one is on your car <laughs> oh, go to prime xbt a 50 percent deposit bonus 50 percent if you deposit two bitcoins, you get one bitcoin extra to trade. That's a shitload of deposit bonus on Prime XBT. And yes, you can leverage trade there. And yes, there is a shitload of volume. And yes, the user interface is kick ass cool. So, use the referral links down below. You get bonuses, we get fees. And those fees go to poor people all over the world. Check my latest tweet. We did another donation to some poor kids in Venezuela. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you really enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, give the video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends and family. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell and please leave a comment as i love to read your comments and also sometimes respond to them yes thanks for watching guys see you later for a family video or tomorrow morning for a night of ta video or saturday morning for a dutch live or sunday morning for english live while i walk through the beach on the beach across whole portugal <laughs> guys wish you an amazing friday enjoy your last day before the weekend and then uh, let's see what will happen to bitcoin but always remember to zoom out in bitcoin and to zoom in that life try to enjoy every single minute of the day as that is exactly what life should be about thanks for watching see you again Bam.